Good morning everyone. Welcome again to our next class. I, Shweta Somra Punya, am your English teacher and today we will start with a new poem, The Kite. Now this poem is written by Harry Ben. Now before starting the detailed explanation of the poem, I would like you all to imagine yourself flying a beautiful new kite. You can see a kite here with a long tail and a thread and imagine that you are flying it in a clear blue sky. I know you all are very happy. You all like flying kites, right? So today in this poem, we will only and only read about a kite and the way you fly it and see what all happens, okay? So first we will start with the hard words, bright. Have a lot of light, chamkila. Dive, to jump into water with your arms and head first. You put your arms and your head into the water first. This is how a dive is. Dip, to put something into liquid and immediately take it out again. You put something in your sauce or ketchup and then take it out, right? So that is called a dip. These are the features which a kite does when it flies. Snaps, to break with a sharp noise. Sail, used about a boat or a ship. So these are the hard words, remember, okay, and learn them. Now we will start with the poem. How bright on the blue is a kite when it's new? Now when you fly a brand new kite. Okay, when you fly it, it seems so beautiful, so adorable when it flies in the clear sky. The colors are so vibrant, so beautiful that you feel it as if it's such a beauty in the sky. It wags its tails and does all sorts of things. With a dive and a dip, it snaps its tail. Now, what does it do? It comes down also with the movement of the wind, okay? It's head down and then it rises up also. So these are what the actions of a kite in the wind into the sky. Then soars like a ship with only a sail and then it moves. It's similar to the ship which is moving on tides, okay? Along with its sails. So a poet here compares what? A kite to a ship also. So this is the second part. We will start with the words tides. What do you mean by tides? It is jwar bhata. In Hindi you call it jwar bhata. High tides and low tides. Okay. It's the movement of water in the ocean. Tides. The regular change in the level of the sea caused by the moon and sun. This is caused by the gravity of moon and sun. Rides, to set on a horse, etc. and control it. You ride a bike, you uh, control it, you ride a horse, okay? So, crest, a group of feathers on the top of a bird's head. But here we will use crest as top, okay? We will only use the meaning of crest means top. Gust, a sudden strong wind. Or bahut hi tez wind ka ek action that is called gust. Now let's get started. As over tides of wind it rides, climbs to the crest of a gust and pulls. Now what poet tries to explain here is he is comparing the kite with a ship which is moving in a big ocean and it moves according to the tides with the action of the water. Like similarly, the kite also flies in the sky with the movement of wind. Then seems to rest as the wind falls. Now, when the wind flows in a great speed, the kite flies very high and with a beautiful face. And when the wind falls or the wind slows down, the kite is not able to fly properly and it comes down. Okay. We will start with the meanings first. Slack, loose. 
not tightly stretched breeze a light wind halki hawa the poet here explains that this is a boy flying the kite and what all he does is when string goes slack you wind it back jab jab aap kite uda rahe ho aur hawa nahi aati patang niche aane lag jati hai what does the flyer do he rolls the thread back wo apni charkhi wapas se lapetne lag jata hai right you all do that and run run until a new breeze blows ya fir koshish karta hai bhag ke patang udane ki jab tak ki hawa nahi aa jati tez and its wings fill and up it goes and when the air again start blowing then the kite also starts flying high up in the sky ragged being or dressed in clothes that are worn or torn okay you can also say shabby theek hai fate purani situation mein this is the last part of the poem how bright on the blue is a kite when it's new so children do you remember these are the first two lines of the poem and here the poet is repeating the lines so in the first starting of the poem the poet was admiring a kite he was praising a kite the way it flies how beautiful it looks all this was done in the first part but now he is trying to explain an another explanation another face of kite but a ragged thing you never will see when it flaps on a string in the top of a tree now when you are flying a kite and all of a sudden it gets stuck on a tree top what happens you pull the string right aap khinchte ho aapke manje ko but many times you cannot take it out aap patang ko nahi nikal pate then what happens wo fat jati hai exactly fat jati hai aur nayi ki nayi patang bhi fatne ke baad aapko achhi nahi lagti you don't like flying that kite you don't like it at all it becomes a ragged fati purani si kite ho jati hai the same new kite which you started flying and within 5 minutes it becomes a kite which you no more wants to see so this is all explained in the poem initially the poet started with a praising of a kite okay he admired the kite bahut hi acche se kite ke bare mein explain kiya ki wo kitne acche se udti hai kitni sundar lagti hai sky mein udti hui beautiful everything was very good about the kite in the second part he compares the kite with a ship which is moving in tides on the tides and in the third part he is telling about a boy or a flyer and the way he flies the kite when the action of the wind is more high or very low then in the fourth part he explains that a kite which was new in the beginning and once it's torn out nobody wants to even look at that all right so this was the poem we read today hope you all understood it well get prepared for the next class thank you so much for today